hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my basement. This is my man cave. My wife doesn't like it when I call it that, but that's what it is. What you guys have been asking me to do for a long time is to show you guys my entertainment setup. The thing I watch movies on, my television, all of our collections. This is our tour of the man cave. Well, firstly, when you come down into the basement, my wife was very cool and she laid these LED lights. It feels like I'm coming down a movie theater every single time. I adore it. Now this thing right here, this is the crown jewel of everything. This is my television. It is an LG 65 inch OLED 4K curved with 3D capabilities. Words truly cannot express how excited I was when LG actually contacted me and offered to send this TV to me for the purposes of doing a review of it. Now look, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Yeah, they sent this to me, but I'm not being paid to lie to you about it. I'm gonna be totally real with you guys though. When I started YouTube, I truly had no idea that anything like this could ever happen to me. I never in a million years thought that I would be in a position in which I could actually work with LG directly. And I'm very excited to be able to do that because this TV blew my mind. <laughs> when I turned it on for the first time, my eyes exploded. I watched The Avengers on Blu-ray, which looked amazing. I watched uh, Howl's Moving Castle, which looked possibly even better. My only issue that I have personally found with this TV so far is that some older Blu-ray transfers that are still 1080p, like for instance, Casino Royale that I popped in, there was quite a bit of grain. And even though they have the option to do digital noise grain removal within the settings of this TV, it didn't quite take care of it. And that's because 1080p isn't 4K. This TV has the ability to show 4K, and so 1080p sometimes doesn't look as good. I did get an upscaled Blu-ray player that upscales from 1080p to 4K, which was nice, and that made it a little bit better. That's the only issue I personally found with my TV as of right now. I am loving every second of it. I popped in Predator in 3D, because that's the only 3D Blu-ray I've ever wanted, because it was never released in theaters in 3D. I never had the opportunity to see what Predator looked like in 3D, and it was pretty impressive. I can sit from any angle in the room, and I can still see the perfect image, which I love. I showed my friend tonight Die Hard on this television for the very first time. He had never seen Die Hard. I know. He liked it quite a bit. That was great. All in all, I've had an amazing time with this television, and it blew my mind that LG was cool enough to send it to me. The fact that they actually sent this to me to review surprised and floored me. I've had a great time with it, and they are doing a sweepstakes right now on their Twitter in which you guys can win stuff like this. I've left links in my description for you to find out more if you wish. Let's look at some more of my man cave. So over here we have some of the posters. There's gonna be a lot more posters to show you, but on this wall we have a Cowboy Bebop wall scroll that my wife got for me. This we got at a Comic Con. I actually can't remember which one, but it's Indiana Jones and his various adventures, all the locations in which he's done something cool. This over here is Tom from Toonami. It's special to us because Toonami is actually the very first thing that my wife and I bonded over when we first met. Obviously she wasn't my wife then, but you know, we talked about Toonami and it was cool. Okay, and right here we have an intermission tin. It's those, uh, let's all go to the lobby guys from the old days. This is a Australian Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom poster. I was really excited when I found that because I like it more than the American one. This is a drive-in movie theater thing, I guess canvas, I guess is what it is. And it has this light up, which gratefully you can turn off because this would be annoying as hell watching movies on, but it's a lot of fun to have the, the drive-in reference because that's something my wife and I also did a lot was go to drive-in movie theaters together because there are still some drive-ins in Ohio. Over here we have just a tad bit of my wife's book collection. She's a voracious reader and she has tons of stuff in here. Like we have this Nausicaa Valley of the Wind that we found at a pawn shop that was really cool. Up here, we have some of her collection of stuffed animals and stuffed Gokus and stuffed Sailor Moon tuxedo masks and Paddington. We have a Peach and a Mario backpack that we got at a yard sale for a dollar each. That's literally the only reason we bought it. We have a poster of When Marnie Was There, which is one of my favorite movies of 2015. This poster is special because my friend who runs the Nightlight Theater in Akron gave it to Sam and I after he allowed us to see it at a free preview with not a soul in the theater but us, which was really awesome. And we knew we had to put it up because it's a cool memory and I love the movie. Now right here is my wife's cherished collection. This is her Spooky Town collection. It's a series of houses and decorative items that relate to Halloween in some way. They're made by Lee Max. 
We have a really cool movie theater that's one of my favorite parts of it. It actually does a lot of voices, but I'm not going to turn it on right now because it's like really loud. These are surprisingly more expensive than you might think. <laughs> it looks like you could find them at the Dollar Tree or something, but in reality, this is a, a pretty legit collection. And we've had it down here for a while, and I have pride in it, but it's really my wife's cherished thing that she owns. This poster requires a little bit of explaining because it's Tomb Raider. But Tomb Raider is amazing. It's my favorite guilty pleasure movie of all time. I don't care. I love it. It's cheesy as hell. I have fun with it every time I watch it. Is it good? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I like it a lot. And so I have it, you know, and my wife likes it too. So it works out. This is Bash the Stampede from the show Try Gun. We picked this up at a Comic Con. I still, I can't remember which one. I've been to like six this year. Um, but it was done by an independent artist and it is beautiful. Now this thing is my prized possession. This is my display case that features all of my favorite collectibles. My wife found this at a used furniture store for pretty cheap, which was pretty awesome. It was like literally a hundred bucks for this thing. And most of them are like $300, $400. So that was a great deal. On top of it, I have a first order TIE fighter from Snap Tight, as well as the new Millennium Falcon. You know, you can tell it's new because it has the new satellite dish. This guy is awesome. I got him at a Comic Con for about 40 bucks. At retail, he's normally about 70 or 80. This is Captain America. It's by NECA. Both of them are. I adore this guy. This guy's my favorite by far between the two. The detailing on him is incredible. It actually looks like Chris Evans. And I know it's more expensive than just buying like the $10 toy at Walmart, but I, I need it. It's his face. Like, I need it. It's, there you go. Okay. And over here, we have my wife's Build-A-Bears, Han and Leia. She loves these things. And uh, right here is a ho 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 Jabba the Hutt is this thing, it's too expensive and I should probably sell it. He's a nasty, dirty, vile gangster who eats frogs and likes to look at green uh, women with nipples. And he's, he's an asshole. But, you know, it, it's awesome. I love it. And it's the detailing on this thing is incredible. It's from Sideshow. And like I said, too expensive and I'm ashamed. So let's just move on. Now, of course, the most important part of any display case is what's actually in it. And I'm going to tell you guys about my top shelf. Firstly, the top row here is tons of DBZ stuff. We have a, an amazing Super Saiyan Goku. First time I saw that, it was at a BAM. I don't know if you guys have BAM where you are, but that's Books A Million. It's sort of like Barnes & Noble. I have a Super Saiyan Trunks as well. Uh, some more young Gohans, because Gohan is my wife and I's shared favorite character. We love Gohan, and so it was really cool to find some adult Gohans, as well as a Super Saiyan 2 adult Gohan from the World Tournament Saga, when he's like ripping off his red cape and he's about to fight. Spopovich, that's right, I know all of these things. Now this is my prized possession in regards to my Dragon Ball Z stuff. Super Saiyan 3 Goku. This was actually a surprise from my wife. She went to Otacon this year. I didn't go, she got to go, I was jealous. But she came back with this guy and I looked at it and I touched it and I put it on my pillow and then she told me I had to put it in the display case, unfortunately, so. Can't sleep with Goku. He's gonna stay there. I got a little Boma because you have to have a girl in there somewhere, I guess. And she's definitely like the best female character probably in the entire Dragon Ball universe, as well as a Vegeta and a Piccolo back there. Now over here, I have a Solid Snake from Peace Walker, I believe. I love the Metal Gear Solid games. A lot of people have been asking me about Metal Gear Solid 5, so I'm just gonna say it now. I was honestly kind of disappointed in that game. I didn't get a chance to beat it, and, and that's honestly why I haven't reviewed it. I didn't really enjoy playing the game that much. It's a great game in regards to gameplay, but it didn't feel like a Metal Gear Solid game to me. That being said, I still love Snake, and I have that figure. Over here we have Arnold as Dutch. Get down! Wow! That's a terrible impression. Uh, and Predator, of course. What I love about that series of Predator and Arnold is that the size is actually correct. Play compatibility, as people refer to it, is very accurate. Predator's tall, you can easily crush Arnold. This Indiana Jones figure I got at a con as well for a very reduced price, because normally I would never buy that guy at what it's charging on Amazon. It's like 150 bucks. I got it for way less than that. We got a really cool Neo from the Matrix, as well as the Dark Knight himself. That's the top row of my display case. The bottom two rows are Amiibos, 
I'll save that for another video. So right here is actually my wife's reading nook. She likes to read her books here, as I've said, she's a huge reader, and this is her little corner for reading. Over here we have a Skyfall poster. The reason this poster's here is because Skyfall is not only a movie that I really enjoyed, but it was actually the dance song for my wife and I at our wedding. It was our first dance song, so we thought it'd be special to put that there. And back here, my wife and I just love Spirited Away as well as Howl's Moving Castle, two excellent Hayao Miyazaki films. And if you've never seen them, shame on you. Over here we have my anime Blu-ray collection. Lots of stuff. It doesn't look that big when you just look at it like this, but it actually is. All of Dragon Ball Z, Claymore, which was recommended to me by a subscriber who emailed me, and I picked it up, and if you're watching, I will watch it soon, dude. Thank you for that recommendation. I got all of the Miyazaki movies that are released currently on Blu-ray. That's something I'm really proud of. Uh, Black Lagoon, Akira, Cowboy Bebop, the Cowboy Bebop movie, Yu Yu Hakusho, Trigun, Badlands, Rumble. Please release Trigun on Blu-ray already, you crazy people. <sighs> and Outlaw Star. Please, that'd be amazing. And over here we have an award that was given to me um, by YouTube. It is for 100,000 subscribers. Over here we have some more of my wife's books. She enjoys books, as I said, tons of stuff here. We have uh, Tolkien. And over here we have my wife's video game collection because she enjoys playing some games. You might notice that a lot of them have a very similar theme, that of farming and harvesting. She enjoys Harvest Moon. You know what? I do too. I've always enjoyed the Harvest Moon games. And down here we have some of her Disney Infinity collection. It's almost entirely Star Wars, save for Baymax, which I actually got her as a gift. And down here her Star Wars toys, she has Luke, Leia, Anakin, Ahsoka, Han, Chewbacca, and Darth Vader. So it makes me feel a little better. I collect Amiibos. She likes the Disney Infinities. It makes me feel, you know, less like a I'm a crazy person. So. Last but not least, a Hotel Transylvania poster. You might be thinking, Chris, why do you have a Hotel Transylvania poster in your basement? That's a little strange. Well, it's actually a really enjoyable movie that I had a lot of fun watching. But the most special part of this is the fact that it's actually the first date my wife and I went on. And my friend Craig framed this and gave it to us as a gift. And we were very happy to have that. And that is my man cave. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to see an Amiibo video, I'll make one. I'll take the time to do it. I know a lot of you guys have actually been asking about that because it's kind of a thing and I think some people knew I was into it and it's a sh I'm ashamed. But uh, I'll do a video of it anyway, guys. And I also want to give a big thank you to my friend Matthew Brando for helping me film this video. He runs a YouTube channel called In-Depth Reviews where he reviews dinosaur toys, Star Wars toys, all kinds of collectibles. He does video game reviews as well, and he's very good at it. Thank you, dude, for helping me film. Uh, thanks, Chris. You're welcome, man. And guys, thank you so much as always for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. <laughs>